What's going on people? I am B Dobbins, FTW. And before Black Ops 4 was revealed, we had heard rumors that this game was originally intended to emulate the kind of mechanics you see in Overwatch. This isn't surprising, COD's business strategy for some time now has been to coast off their brand recognition while ripping off other games' most popular mechanics to neutralize them as competitors. Whether it was Ghosts pathetically trying to imitate Battlefield 4's destructible environments, or Black Ops 3 shamelessly replicating wall running from Titanfall, this franchise has made a habit of breathtaking unoriginality. Now, the leak detailing Treyarch's failed Overwatch ambitions was brought to us by Charlie Intel and Matt Harris. I know there's been a bit of a dust up with Mr. Harris who admits some of his information was speculative or just wrong, but it's important to note that he stood by his claims that the game was intended as an Overwatch clone. Those claims were corroborated by Charlie Intel, who has a strong record on accurate leaks, and as it turns out, Mr. Harris did correctly predict that there would be no campaign and the date and location of the reveal and also that it would be playable at the reveal event. And despite the widespread publication of this leak, it was never denied by Treyarch themselves. Further, just based on what we've seen from the official reveal, this game is clearly influenced by Overwatch. It has copied Overwatch's Assault playlist, where you take the two points one after the other. It has no health regen, there's obviously a healer and tank class builds, health has been dramatically increased. The health bar itself looks very similar to Overwatch, especially when damage is being done. And just like in Overwatch, the teams can't have more than one of the same hero on a team. And apparently this is the watered down build. Treyarch's original plans involved removing killstreaks and perks from the game altogether and replacing them with an emphasis on heroes' super abilities, but that plan was scrapped after flopping with playtesters. This explains a previously cryptic tweet from Vonderhaar, which has since been deleted, that said, and I quote, It's a bit humiliating when you pitch core system designs, but the response falls flat. I am currently licking my wounds while simultaneously using my position of authority to get my team to bail me out of trouble. Guy's a shitty tweet writer, if you ask me. So apparently Treyarch has since reworked the game in a more traditional COD style that we see today. Vonderhaar published that tweet in January, just five months ago, meaning two years into development, this game got a reboot, with one source in press reports claiming that two days ago, COD was in the worst state you've ever seen, and that quote was from April. This doesn't mean Black Ops will be bad, but it does mean consumers ought to exercise caution and patience when deciding whether to buy this game, because we've seen how poorly last-minute reboots go for games like Destiny and Destiny 2, which were big-budget Activision products as well. My big concern is that the innovations they've kept won't mesh well with the traditional format they reverted to. Now, in response to that news and the game's reveal, I've seen many saying that they're happy to see Overwatch mechanics go or otherwise flame Treyarch for those Overwatch mechanics that still have made it into the game. But this is a mistake, as it would be for people's takeaway from this to be that games shouldn't try and mimic the things Overwatch got right. They should. After all, what COD tried to do with Overwatch isn't so different from what Fortnite did to PUBG. That is, flagrantly ripping off and putting their own spin on its best parts. And Fortnite proves that if you do it better, they won't call it a ripoff. And even if somebody tries to, people won't care. We shouldn't be upset that COD is looking for ways to change, it's obviously something many COD fans desperately want. And I personally was a huge fan of the new war mode in COD World War II, which I'm pretty sure they ripped from the escort game mode in Overwatch. With how positively war mode was received, getting pushed to the top of the playlist right under TDM, it's possible they just said, screw it, we'll copy the whole game this time. Undoubtedly, there are plenty of people who didn't enjoy Overwatch. And they have every right not to want other games they care about to copy some shit they don't want. But it's important to remember that there are millions of players who didn't care for PUBG but fell in love with Fortnite. Just because you don't like a game doesn't mean you can't like certain parts of it in a different context. Likewise, there are plenty of players who prefer PUBG over Fortnite. With more options for consumers, it's clear we benefit from this kind of competition. Try to keep an open mind. Treyarch's mistake isn't recognizing and wanting to capture Overwatch's obviously powerful appeal to millions of people. I suspect it's the how and when they get wrong. Again, according to these leaks, their game plan was to remove the traditional score streaks and perk system while emphasizing the hero's individual abilities and supers. And this is the biggest mistake every game makes when they're trying to copy some other popular title. They debase themselves and abandon what made their game special, just to become some watered down version of something else. Perk customization and kill streaks are the two massively successful innovations that put COD on top and let it stand out from other contemporary shooters. It first introduced them in COD 4, expanded on them in MW2, and unsurprisingly, COD hit its peak shortly thereafter. You can't abandon what made your game special just to be more similar to Overwatch because then people don't have a reason to play your game instead of Overwatch. Fortnite was able to rip off PUBG successfully because it held on to its most significant feature, the base building, so it was able to offer something significant PUBG doesn't have while still having the best parts of PUBG. It's surprising that COD would make this mistake because you'd think they would have learned from every game that tried to copy them back in their prime. Games like Halo 4 would debate themselves with sprint, customizable classes, and killstreaks just to get those COD players 
and it was a total flop. Its player populations bottomed out a month after release and its sales have been in decline ever since because adopting those mechanics meant abandoning a lot of the traditional Halo combat that had made the game so popular originally. It's easy to imagine why Overwatch mechanics wouldn't go over great in COD, and this is something we should still be concerned about, frankly, because here's the thing. Overwatch's gameplay revolves exclusively around a super competitive skill-based matchmaking system. In fact, I would argue the game's mechanics don't even work properly without the competitive ranking system, and you're going to try and copy and paste that into COD, where skill-based matchmaking has been the most controversial and hated mechanic in the history of the game? That didn't raise any red flags for anyone? I would hope the devs are at least playing the games they try to copy, but it doesn't seem like they are. And the other problem with always chasing other game success is that this industry evolves so quickly you get left behind. You know, Overwatch was the game of the year two years ago. Many players have moved on since then. I adored Overwatch. It was one of my favorite games of all time, but I played the shit out of it, and as with all things, you eventually lose interest and want to try something new. So even if COD has successfully implemented these Overwatch mechanics, best case scenario is just a knockoff of a game many of us have already gotten tired of. Most people don't want to play the same thing for three years straight. By jumping on two-year-old bandwagons, you're not offering players anything they haven't already had. The difference between a successful ripoff like Fortnite and a failed one like Halo 4 is that Fortnite ripped off PUBG when it was only a year old, while Halo waited till 2012 to rip off innovations that COD had made in 2007. Those mechanics had long since stopped being fresh and interesting. So COD's chasing Overwatch while the rest of the industry is chasing Battle Royale. So okay, now COD's gonna do some last minute Battle Royale thing too. And by the time they release it, it'll be redundant because the world will have 500 other Battle Royale games and COD will remain, as always, nothing special that most people regret buying because the most profitable game in the industry never had the courage to try something new and was instead content to ride the coattails of other trends they knew were safe because they were stupid enough to fire the guys who thought up the only interesting innovations this game ever had. The end result is a game that has changed just enough to turn off fans who really do want the same thing every year, even if they won't admit it, but still hasn't changed enough to make anyone else excited. The For The Win query of the day is what do you think of Black Ops 4 based on what you've seen so far? Thanks for watching. Please remember to rate. This is Batman signing out.